Hello everyone, thank you for watching. My name is Kano and this is The Wings of Africa. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the audio and video clock out of sync issue or problem in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now there are two ways to fix this issue. The first and simple way is to go back to open Adobe, go to edit, preferences, audio clock uh, audio hardware come into audio hardware now see your default import it is set to digital in and when this thing is uh, set to digital in your video will be sticking or skipping it won't play smoothly so this is I'm pretty sure this is what you guys are hearing Well, sometimes the video doesn't play at all, but let me see if I can get this playing. Okay, let's see now. See right here, it said audio and video clock out of sync, and this thing is not even moving at all. moving smoothly it's just jerking even if you render this it will still do the same thing so let me show you how to fix this problem now let me clear this uh notice all right so everything is clear now go back to edit preferences audio hardware now, like I said, there are two ways to fix it. The first and simple simple way to do it is go in here, come to this option, and see in your default import check to see if you have two options. Option one, which should be digital import SB Recon 3D PCIe. Option two, if you have it, it should be what you hear SB. Uh, Recon 3D PCIe. Now, if you have what you hear, SB Recon 3D PCIe, just switch, uh, click on them. Click yes. And as you see, uh, your master clock and default import is the same thing now. Click OK. Now, let's see what happened next. Nothing is popping up. Your video is playing smoothly. Okay. Now, now, if you don't have the two option and all you have is the uh, digital in. Now, this is when you have to click the link below in the description follow the instruction you will have to you have to download WinRAW or any kind of zip uh, zip opener okay for me I have WinRAW and it's easy to use too so after you download the after you click on the link and download the software on the uh, on your computer and you have win word this is what it should look like in your download folder now you should want to see this not this this one you have to right click go to extract here now when you extract it here this will show up now you're gonna have this is the uh, folder you just extracted this is the folder you need double click that folder now come down to you're gonna see setup setup and setup 64 you need the setup 64 file double click on it click yes 
Now, I already have this uh, software installed on my computer, but for the sake of this uh, video, I'm going to it say uh, virtual audio cable 4.14 will be installed on your computer. Do you want to continue? Yes. Now, and it say it seems to be already installed, which is true. I've already installed it. So I'm going to say yes for the sake of uh, this video because I want to show you guys one important thing. Click yes and then accept. Now this is what I want to show you guys. When you reach to this option, always click this box. Let's say I am an advanced user. Give me additional options. Leave everything as it is. Just click here and hit installed. At this point, I'm going to click exit because I already have it. Now, after you install this, you are good. You are good. Now, go back to Premiere Pro. Go to Edit, Preferences, Audio Hardware. Now, you should have at least two options in this... Uh, in right here are uh, default input you should have two options you should have digital in or line one it should say line one virtual audio cable VAC okay now change okay click on them click on it say yes say okay it should give you the same result Okay, you are set to go. Sometime when you set that to your uh, audio, and when you set that to line one, and you have your speaker plugged into the back of your computer, sometime it will not play your audio after you get out of Adobe. Sometime it does that. Okay. Like when you go on YouTube, it won't you won't hear any sound. So what you need to do in that case, you have to come to your speaker, uh, left click on it, come to sound, go to playback, and you see here, you either have it on speaker, or you have it in line one. For now, mine is in speak on speaker, but. If you have a plug-in from behind the computer, it will automatically change it to line one. So, in order to play on speaker, all you gotta do is double uh, right-click on it and set as a uh, default communication device. That will be all. But and and then when you go back to edit in Adobe, you have to come back, go back to Adobe Edit Preferences Audio Hardware and change it in there too. So that's all you that's all you have to do that's it guys and I hope this video help you guys and um, if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe comment and please don't forget to share